We're back with the Outer Worlds. I'm Nabs, and we just completed the salvage project. And now we're going on to, uh, I believe we're going to go see uh, Phileas. Phileas, Phileas, Phineas. That's it. Yeah, I'll speak with Phineas about the promise data and see what he's got to say. But well, first, I'm going to talk to uh, Bavardi. She's got soap now for her date. Miss Nyoka's so capable, you hardly notice how sad she looks. So, there's your soap. Oh, thanks, Captain. I'm gonna put these someplace safe. In her messages, June Lay said her mama used to make this dish for Monarch. Dustback casserole. Saltuna and Xenogold needle mushrooms. And then for dessert, there's a thing called, uh, sweetheart cake. It's made with almond paste and wax gourds. There's got to be some place in Stellar Bay that can bake a casserole. And I heard tell there's a Rizzo's town near there called Cascadia, what specializes in sweets. All right, we'll figure it out. Thanks, Captain. I know I'm asking an awful lot, but I'm sure it's going to be worth it. Now, the sad part is, I think we've been to both of these places already, so we're going to have to go back and do that. But we're going to talk to Phineas first. Let's go see the sci crazy scientist at his lab. Yay. Now arriving at Phineas's top secret orbital lab. Yeah, it looks top secret, all right. It's out here in space, not covered, no nothing, just heading out there, and we know where it is. So does our ship. So how secret is this secret place? Yeah, let's just take him as we got him. All right, the secret science lab. What secrets does the secret science lab have? Getting out over this way? Doesn't look like it. All right, fine. Nothing over here. Oh, wow. Hey, look at that. Another ship. Can we use it? <clears throat> Hello? Can you hear me? Does nope. this work? Oh, damn it. Blast. That's loud. Nothing there. Nothing there. But this. Inspect immediately before signing merchandise. You ensure responsibility. To live Sykes Pig. Psych to piss pig, whatever they're called. No idea what you need all these damn things for, but supplier is hiking up the price. Expect more increase in the future. Before you ask, there's no rebate for ordering in bulk. Next delivery in four weeks, unless I hear otherwise. In three, three, you hear? You end up with a pig stacked to the rafters again. It's not my fucking problem. Uh, let's see. Looked into the flux thing, but uh, no hits yet. Sent along greeting cards from uh, Dear Auntie. Don't tell me what you want it for. Don't want to know. My dear's pain in the ass. It's requested another load of cypress, cypress pigs. Supplier gave me a bit of a hassle. I reminded him that crystal and can't breed. They can only be made. What that weird gas the lab codes use. Oh, okay, I get it. He still raised the price. Pass it along to your buyer, I guess. You're going to... You ever going to come visit? Got a nice bottle of 43 set aside for you. Most favorite park pork provider, Millet. Made your latest batch of bot bottled meat. Didn't get eaten on the uh, way in. Killed a pack of wraps to do it. Usually, usual charges apply. Your supplier won't ha wasn't happy. Might want to have a frank discussion with him. Nokia. Hey, that's my character. Or one of my collaborators. Suspicious about all items claimed to need for off-world buyers. You're setting up a farm of your own, aren't you? Breeding stock. The king won't have it. Hey. Oh, it doesn't put a hole in it. 
That's no fun. I want damage. Alright, let's see. Wow, that ship is toast. Look at it. Sparking everywhere. Alright, let's get... Oh, wait, what's, what's that up there? Can we get up there? Uh, there's a drawbridge over here. I'm just securing my ongoing experiments. And securing myself. Chicken. Mind the mess, sir. I haven't had a visitor since, uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. Uh, well, we can't shoot him. You, I'd clap you on the shoulder if I went behind a wall of bulletproof glass. I don't know how you did it, but Hiram Blythe just sent me everything I needed. According to Hiram's message, Minister Clark has ordered a suspicious amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Typical elitist. Hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. Once I have those chemicals, we can revive the Hope's colonists and put some decent people in charge. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium and stealing those chemicals. Exciting. Okay, I'm stealing for you now. What about, uh, what's important about these chemicals? If I had time and several blackboards, I could explain the details to you, but to put it briefly, dimethyl sulfoxide is the reason you're alive today. The chemical is absolutely essential to reviving the Hope's colonists. I need you to steal as much as you possibly can. The more, the better. If you don't bring me enough chemicals, I might not be able to save the Hope's colonists. And then nothing will stop the board from destroying this colony. Alright, what about the Minister Clark? Aloysius Clark, Minister of Earth. Virtually every colony requires the presence of a Minister of Earth. Clark is complicit in every one of the board's crimes. Whenever the board issues some new decree, you'll find Clark's signature on the dotted line. Okay, you make it sound simple. Oh, I understand it must seem impossible to you. Infiltrate Byzantium, the crown jewel of the colony. Steal a batch of rare chemicals from a heavily guarded estate. In order to do the impossible, you must first divide it into a series of smaller, less impossible tasks. Alright. So what's the plan? Ah, yes, the details. I'm not about to ask you to rampage through Byzantium trading bullets with the board's agents. We'll have to resort to subterfuge. Carmen Imagawa. She's my contact in Byzantium. Meet her at the docks. She'll have all the necessary intelligence you require. I'm giving you my old nav key to Byzantium. You'll need it to land in the Golden City. Remember, you're looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Big green bubbling vessel with a warning label. I'll take as much as you can find. Uh, anything I should know about this Carmen? You can trust her if that's what you're asking. Imagawa is the finest special agent in Byzantium that money can buy. My money, anyway. Uh, actually, let's just... No, let's go take care of this. I've done plenty of task, smuggling ones, I... but this thing with the chemicals is bold. I think we got a few other tasks that we actually are supposed to do before this one. So I think we still have to go find a doctor, and storage, and uh, well, we got a few things to take care of if I remember right. Alright, let's uh, strip this place out of everything useful. Oh, we won't read all those. They're just sort of funny, and I don't do them justice when I read them. Oh, wait, what's that? Get, get over the rail. Okay, don't. We'll go around. Jeez, please. It's been over four decades in space with nothing but technology of this little chamber keeping you alive. The rest of your fellows are still trapped 
in a similar chamber, waiting for you to restore Reviving them. Reviving you from hibernation was my greatest accomplishment. Your odds of survival were a mere 28%. 20%? Well, that's horrible odds. Alright, let's go take care of... We've got a few tasks on our list. Let's take out what we're going to do next. The journal! So, alright. Meeting is contact. We're not going to do that yet. We need to do some of these factions and final tests, uh, requests. Uh, he's in Byzantium. We're not going there next. Uh... I'll take care of the sweet cakes and the dust mat casserole, probably offline. Uh, Starcrossed outpost we've hired to clear infestation. Um, cleaning machine. Oh, we're going to do that. And the acid sweeper. Alright, i got to figure which uh, one of these I'm going to do next. All right, that's what we're going to do. Find Captain Iron on Scalia. All right, we're heading to Scalia. Do, 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 do. Uh, I believe that's creature killing. I'm going to have to change hats. I understand we have decided to continue supporting the outlaw scientist, Dr. Phineas Wells. Oh, I thought you were going to have an opinion about it. All right. Let's see. Scolia. Yes. Ooh, I still have to unlock Captain, two more places. I'm receiving an urgent docking request from another vessel. Greetings from the Halcyon Parcel Service. Delivery is guaranteed within standard margins of certainty. I've got a special delivery for Alex Hawthorne of The Unreliable. Uh, with your permission, I'll see it transferred to your ship. What is it? It's a parcel, sir. Are you sure it's not a package? This is the Halcyon Parcel Service. We don't deal in packages. Just send it over. With alacrity. Stand by, Captain Hawthorne. An HPS certified distribution technician has deposited the parcel into your cargo hold in accordance with hazardous waste disposal procedures. They did what? They dispensed three complimentary spritzes of Anti Cleo's Citrus Squirt Air Freshener. That's the HPS touch for you, Captain Hawthorne. On behalf of HPS, I'd like to remind you that HPS is not responsible for any damage, defacement, or unseemliness to your parcel. Thank you for your patience, and please remember HPS for all of your future parcel-related needs. Oh, let's just cut the transmission. So this is part of the uh, DLC. You got a second? Well, let's let's see what the start of the DLC is. Did we get here? Okay. That's a hand. Yes, that that is a hand. Hawthorne, if you're getting this, something's happened to me. Got mixed up in some shady business on Gorgon. Should have known better. But I landed on something big. And now this job's an itch I can't stop scratching. There's a whole research compound left to the Sprats. I think I'm close to figuring out why, but something dangerous is closer to me. Got the job through one mini Ambrose, top runger who just came into some money, was offering a hefty bit card for qualified help. Trust me, her money's good. Talk to Mini. Take the job. If I ain't gonna live to see the payday, might as well be you. Consider us even, old pal. Well, that fellow certainly seemed trustworthy. I've gotten jobs from some unusual sources, but this is a first. Congratulations, Captain. I don't mean to sound prim, Captain, but 
There's gotta be a better way to ask someone to do you a favor. I just want to say, we gotta take this job. This is the closest I ever been to starring in a serial drama. Only thing we're missing is a couple cameras and a soundtrack. At least this won't be boring. Ah, uh, let's ask uh, money intrigue. I'm sold. That's pretty much really what I. Uh, yeah. Captain. The message contains landing coordinates for a small asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. It was recently registered to a Wilhelmina Andros. Who was this guy, Ada? He was an old friend of Alex Hawthorne's. Lucky Montoya had a statistically significant tendency to encounter situations of extreme danger. He liked to show off his battle scars. I get the feeling he won't be flashing this one around. He was also the fourth best paid freelancer in the system. Oh, only the fourth. There are several hundred freelancers operating in Halcyon. Considering the numbers, Mr. Montoya ranked among the top percentile. This had less correlation with his measured aptitudes, which rank at or below average, than with a pattern of fortunate circumstances. Ah. <sighs> That sounds good for me. That's not... <laughs> Captain, just when I think I've heard the depths of insight you're capable of, you find a way to surprise me. I do not advise deriving probabilities from coincidence, but I am programmed to offer you encouragement. I have transferred the coordinates for Ambrose Manor to your navigation terminal. We can travel there when you are ready. All right, well... Hawthorne, if you're getting this, something's happened to me. Stop. Got mixed up Just in some shady stop. business on Gorgon. Should have known better. There it is. All right. I'm going to use a skill point and then uh, get continuing on our mission here on the planet. 